The man accused of robbing businesses on both sides of Mobile Bay is now sitting in Metro Jail. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones joins us live in the studio tonight. And Jeremy, you were there as Pritchard police officers escorted Terrence Dees to jail. Yeah, that's right, Shimani. 40-year-old Terrence Dees didn't have anything to say to us reporters, and U.S. Marshals and Pritchard police took him to jail. Anything you'd like to say about the alleged robberies? This is 40-year-old Terrence Dees. Pritchard police arrested him Saturday afternoon after law enforcement agencies in Mobile and Baldwin counties were searching for him following a string of armed robberies. Me and two other officers were able to locate him in the Alabama village on Hell Street. Me and the officer that just transported him personally made entry into the house, drew our weapons and gave him commands which he complied and we took him into custody. In, in reference to the crimes that uh, Mr. Dees committed, He's committed numerous robberies within the city of Pritchard, as well as Daphne and Mobile. This is surveillance video of the Exxon gas station on Highway 98 in Daphne. Investigators say Dees went in June 14th and fired a gun, demanding money from the register. The cashier was scared and was unable to open the register, and he ran out empty-handed. That same night, mobile police say he went into this Waffle House on Spring Hill Avenue. Officers say he fired a shot into the air, demanded money, and then left in a getaway car. Mobile police arrested Joni Kemp, alleging she was the getaway driver that night. The following day, surveillance video given to us by Pritchard Police shows who they believe is Dee's robbing the Dollar General on Lot Road and leaving with almost $700 in cash. He faces four counts of first-degree robbery and two charges of discharging a gun into an occupied building or vehicle. After days of searching, investigators are glad they were able to make a quick arrest. The one that he committed at the Waffle House of Spring Hill Avenue, I actually have a personal friend that was there that night whenever he fired the shots. So I'm happy that I was able to personally make this arrest. We reached out to Daphne police and they tell us if Dees is released on bond in Mobile County, they'll pick him up to face his charges in Baldwin County. He's set for a bond hearing Monday. Reporting in the studio tonight, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.